Good morning, America. How are ya? Don't you know me? I'm Joe Scarborough, buddy. Bo -bo -bo and this here part of the show's called the Rail Bell. I'll be gone 500 miles when Katrina comes. October. Let's call it the 29th. Year of our Lord 2009. Shall we? Yes, I believe we shall, because that's the real bill. Obama visits a solar farm in uh, Arcadia, Florida. Stands in front of this massive formation of solar collectors, right? On a cloudy day. Now, I know solar collectors, I mean, work really great even on a cloudy day, but. I don't know, it's just kind of an omen, you know, this is the sunshine state in order to uh, promote the solar collectors and it's a cloudy day. I just thought that was an interesting juxtaposition of uh, events which indicate a certain, you know, sign of the times quality to them. So these are going to be green jobs which are going to save the environment. Does anybody have any idea of the nasty man-made components that solar collectors are made of and all of the uh, coal-fired energy that was consumed in producing these things. And guess who paid for them? So our esteemed leader, master of all he surveys, including these solar collectors, makes a, a trip down to Florida. Incidentally, the new Ares rocket, that which is supposed to take the place of the space shuttle, is uh, patiently waiting on the launch pad to launch this very same day and the launch is scrubbed NASA officials say that it is due to the some kind of technical glitch and weather I'm more inclined to uh, believe however that it is because you know man you got Air Force One running around in the area and you don't know where that damn thing's gonna pick up and land and you don't know when it's gonna take off you don't know when it's coming Remember, he ran off and, you know, took a bunch of pictures around the Statue of Liberty in the damn thing. And nobody expected that. Nobody knew what was coming. It was like 9-11 all over again. Terrifying people on the ground in Manhattan. If you remember last year, summer, the candidate Obama took his own plane, O-Force One, that does not have a Stars and Stripes painted anywhere on it like any other American aircraft. He took that to Iraq to check out the situation on the ground there and talk about how miserable it is and how miserable uh, the performance is of George W. Bush. So Obama goes to Iraq last summer without even notifying the forces on the ground under the control of General Petraeus. But he did give the Iraqi president, Nouri al-Maliki, Nouri al-Maliki, Maliki, Maliki, Maliki Boom Boom Day. Maliki Boom Boom Day. It's the stupidest song ever made, I swear. He makes sure that the Iraqi president knows that he's coming, but he doesn't say anything to portray us. Just shows up. I can see the forces in the field, man, driving around in their Humvees. And we got a bogey at 10 o'clock, uh, waiting clearance to fire. Trying to get the craft to identify itself. So no wonder the Ares rocket did not go up. Because, you know, when's Obama going to leave? Where's he going to go from there? We don't want to even look like we're trying to uh, shoot at him. Get in his way. Doesn't matter if he's getting in our way. Because don't you know he's the most important man in the world upon whom the hopes of billions rests upon his weary shoulders. No, he's not weary. Like he said, you ain't seen nothing yet. I'm not tired. Speaking of Iraq, the Middle East is is about to blow wide the hell open. Did you see those explosions in Baghdad? Explosions that rocked Baghdad. Every time there's an explosion, it rocks. It doesn't shake, it doesn't crumble, it doesn't obliterate. It's always rocked, rock, rock, rock. Did you see the size of these buildings? Every window blown out, man. All kinds of dead people. I think 124 dead. It was like downtown Baghdad. Probably if the Americans would have been there, they hadn't been kicked out to the countryside and were not allowed to be in the cities, that would, I bet you that would be close to, if not in the green zone, because they were two uh, big government buildings. 
I mean like downtown Washington DC federal style sized government buildings. And also, more Americans have died this month in Afghanistan than any other month in the past eight years of failed policy. And Obama says he wants to pay Taliban fighters if they just say, I am no longer a Taliban. Okay, here, here's your money. I mean, whose side is this son of a bitch on? Then there's the explosions that rocked Pakistan every day, man. Peshawar, Islamabad, all points in between. The Taliban's raising hell in Al-Qaeda. Oh, and they found Iranian oh, commandos in uniform in Pakistan. Look, there's, there's several ways that they might make it all the way from Iran to Pakistan. Either travel through Afghanistan. Go ahead and look at the map, okay? If you don't have a, a general picture of the area in your head, it's less likely they would go through Afghanistan unless they were escorted by Taliban, other Afghan fighters, or they go through the Indian Ocean, which is infested with pirates. I mean, the Iranians and the pirates have been working on their own little navy that stretches all the way from Somalia to Indonesia, all along the coast in India. Poor giant dirt poor India, and, uh, possessing nuclear weapons, is, is right in the middle of all this. And they're looking at Pakistan, thinking, you know, if the Taliban and the Al Qaeda is uh, getting closer and closer to the Pakistani nuclear weapons, and if the American Obama is not doing anything about it, then we shall do something about it. Another thing, Karzai, the elections. Why the hell, Obama? Uh, this is this is the way the Democrats always do things with war. They don't want to send in a force until things are stable on the ground. See, that's the whole idea of sending a force in, is to stabilize things. And, of course, it's going to be labeled by the enemy and by the media and by all the peacemongers as an occupation. Like the American occupation of Iraq. The Most Iraqis, incidentally, want the United States to continue occupying Iraq. And I'm sure that most Afghans who are not Taliban would hope that America would continue to occupy Afghanistan. In fact, they're probably thinking that I wish the Americans would surge into Afghanistan. Just like they surged into Iraq because they're losing control. And now, but no, the Americans gotta throw a monkey wrench into the works now. Stupid ass Democrats, now they wanna redo the stupid ass election because Hamid Karzai is corrupt and his brother is supposedly in uh, cahoots with the, you know, opium trade. Look, man, stop interfering. At least they're not the Taliban, okay? At least they were working with us, whatever their extracurricular activities were. And if they were making money from the opium trade, at least it wasn't Taliban that was making money from the opium trade. And if they are, in the opium trade. Up until now, uh, George Bush's strategy was leave alone the opium trade because it covers massive amounts of square miles in the country, along with probably other agriculture, and the military seems to stay out of the area. That invites the enemies in. See, like, for instance, Iranians who would be traveling from Iran to Pakistan, for instance, like the ones that were captured in Pakistan. They could be captured going through these areas where they think it's quiet, see? Like fish in a barrel, you know? You gotta set a trap. And, and the way things go in the underworld is wherever you got drugs, like these, like these opium, the opium trade, there tends to follow gun running, i.e., in this particular instance, weapons, possibly nuclear material, all kinds of other stuff, and the, the sordid, unsavory characters that play a part in the logistics of these operations. They would have a tendency in a quiet area to stick their heads up above the ground and then get flicked off by the Americans, you see. But that, I guess that probably makes too much sense for Obama, who he said a few weeks ago he's necessarily looking for victory in Afghanistan. <laughs> Whose side is this guy on? Will you please just think about this kind of stuff? Thanks for listening. Enjoy your day.